Hello, this is Rabbi Mark Angel at the Institute for Jewish Ideas and Ideals. Thank you for joining us. Our website is jewishideas.org. The Institute stands for an intellectually vibrant, compassionate, and inclusive Orthodox Judaism. We welcome your involvement, your support, and uh, please be with us as part of our expanding and growing community. Uh, the question we received recently relates to the issue of tzniyut, modesty, especially in terms of when people are doing their exercises. So people go to gyms, people run in the park, people uh, dress in different kind of clothing in order to do their exercises. Uh, we should start by saying it's wonderful to exercise. Physical fitness is um, a great desideratum of Judaism. Good health and strong bodies are, are good. Uh, however, the laws of sinud are not suspended just because one is doing exercise. So therefore, if one is wearing uh, very tight-fitting uh, running clothes or bicycle clothes or gym clothes, uh, this is still not appropriate. It's possible for one to wear loose-fitting gym clothes or loose-fitting loose -fitting, uh, running clothes and a uh, bicycle clothes, and that would be just fine. It amazes me, actually, when I see people running in the park assuming that uh, it's no one sees them, that they can just dress however they wish uh, without regard to anyone else's feelings. And this is, of course, not appropriate. It is appropriate for one always to be conscious of one's own dignity as a human being and not to pose oneself as an object of sexual desire or sexual uh, lust, whatever it is. A person should try to d d dress in a dignified manner and conduct him and herself in a dignified manner. This includes when one is doing exercises. If uh, one is going to an all-male or all-female gym class, then the rules would obviously be a little bit different, and one could wear a different kind of clothing because the purpose would not be um, to uh, excite the interest of the opposite gender, but rather simply as a matter of uh, convenience uh, for doing the gym exercises in a proper way. So this is the general guidelines. One should remember that the laws of Tzniyut are not just technical laws of what one may and may not do, but they represent a philosophy of life. The philosophy of life is one should live as a dignified human being and not see oneself or want oneself to be seen as an object. And uh, if one keeps that in mind, one will choose the correct clothing. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If you have questions, please feel free to send them to mdangel at jewishideas.org. Um, again, the Institute stands for an intellectually vibrant, compassionate, and inclusive Orthodox Judaism. Please be part of our community and help us in our struggle to create a sane, intelligent Orthodoxy that resists and fights against extremism and narrowness and intellectual poverty. Please help us and help all of our community to live a more vibrant, compassionate, and inclusive Jewish life. Thanks so much. Shalom, shalom, and best wishes.